Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In the previous video, we have completed manage order part of cafe management system Pritchell. If you are not seen that video, just go to description, check out the link. In this video, we are going to start with the view bill part. So let us start with that. Let me open the VS code and first we have to go to the services. In services, we have to go to the bill.services. Let me close other files bill.services and here we have to create a method so this will be for deleting the bills so id any and here we have to write return this dot http client dot post method and this dot url plus double put slash bill slash delete and after that we have to put slash plus id comma and then we have to write headers, not this header. Headers. Okay, so it should be start with the bracket first. Yeah. And header. And here we have to write new HTTP client. This one. And dot set. And here we have dot set. Here we have to Okay, so here not HTTP client, here we write HTTP header, headers, this one, and dot set content type, comma, and application slash JSON. And after that, just put the semicolon and save this. Now, now we have to generate a component so just right click on this open integrated terminal and here we have to write ng generate component view bill with press enter and it will generate a component for us you can see a component has been created now we have to go to the material routing over here just copy paste this line of the code over here and here we need to change this to bill and here we have to write man uh, sorry view bill component this one and the routing will be accessible by admin as well as user and after that we have to go to the shared folder inside shared folder there is a main item so just copy paste this line of the code over here put this comma at the end over here and paste it and here we have to write bill and here we have to write view view bill and icon we need to change this to backup in the school table and save this if i go over here you can see view bills is here if i click on it you can see the view will box page is visible it means that both are connected successfully now we have to go to the view bill page over here and we have to go to the component.ts and now we have to write few lines to display the columns. So display it columns. And here we have to write string array. And here we have to pass this same column. And here we have to write name, name, email, contact, number. And here we write payment method and total total and after that view after that data source let me delete this one so that you can see the if any error occur okay so data source any and after that response message any and then we have to write private product okay uh, i don't think we are using product services so we'll remove it bill service and bill service and after that private ngx service ngx ui loader service this need to import private dialog dialog and mat dialog this need to import and private snack bar service snack bar service this one let me scroll a little bit up this one and private 
router and I'm here with right router so, and after that in ng on it we have to start the ngx services so that start and then we have to call a mid table so table data that may this method does not exist so we have to create it so just write it put it over here and now we are going to write the code to get all the bills so let's try here this dot bill services dot get bills bills and in this we don't need to pass anything after that subscribe and response email. let me scroll a little bit up this dot ngx services dot stop and this dot data source is equals to mat table data source this one and response we need to pass and if any error occur in that case we need to display so we are going to write the code for that and here this dot ngx services dot stop and console dot log whatever the error error we get and if error dot error question mark dot message and in this this dot response message is equals to and we will just pass this if exist and in else condition this dot response message global constant dot uh, get generic error and this dot snack bar services dot open the snack bar and this dot response message comma global constant dot error put semicolon let's scroll it if i go over here if i open inspect mode and if i go to the network tab and if i refresh this it will call that api so you can see get bills i'm able to see the data over here you can see this is in the string form product details let's get back to the vs code now we have to write the code to filter the data from the table to so apply filter and here we have to write event and event and here we write const filter value filter value and here we write event dot target as htt ml input element dot value and this dot data source dot filter and here we write filter value dot trim dot to lower case lower case and after that we have to create one more method to view all the so to view so view or uh, like view bills so for that purpose we are creating this method and values any and const dialog config new match dialog dialog config this one and dialog config dot data and data values and after that let me scroll a little bit up this and dialog dialog config dot width is equals to 100 percent i going to pass the 100 percent over here and const dialog dialog reference is equals to this dot dialog config dot open and view bill product products component this component we already have if you extend the dialog inside you can see view bill product we already provided we already created this one and in this we have to pass dialog component and we also need to subscribe this uh, dialog with this page so if you will get changed then we need to close this so dot subscribe and here we need to write like this dialog reference dot close this one 
and save this. And you can see it saved. So a few more methods we have to create before that. We will going to add to CSS over here and we will write the code to display the UI or display the table where details related to the bill. Okay, so let's write port right and math card padding 20 looks and table fit 100% save this now we could go to the html part of this page and here we have to delete this one math card inside this we have to bold span and here we have to write view bill and after that we have to pick our picture that card and here we have to create a mat form field form field and appearance standard and mat label filter and input mat input group and apply filter hash input okay after that mat card the next is hr Responsive and after that, inside this one, let me scroll a little bit of this one. And here we write table math table and data source and data source. Write class and here we write math. Elevation dash J8. Inside this table, we have to create multiple fields, so uh, multiple columns. Sorry, container map column. And then this one, and here we have to write name, and after that, th math header. Cell mat header cell mission this one and we have to write name and after that td mat cell star mat cell and let element element then we have to just copy paste this line of the code over here and we have to just rename this to email email and here we also need to write email email and save this and the next field after email next will be contact number so contact Number here we also need to write contact number. Then here we write contact number. After contact number, the next field will be uh, next column will be for payment method. Method and here we write payment method and payment method. And M should be the space and P should be capital. And after payment method, the next for total. So let me paste it over here once again. And here we have to write total. Here we also need to write total. And total over here. And after this, the next field for the view 
So let me put it over here and here we need to change this to view. And here we're going to rename it as Ethan Peach. And here and the class here uh, over here in this one, we have right class, and that will be action link. It is the size of this one. And after that, uh, inside of this one, just delete this part of the code and press enter. And here we have to write button and mat icon button this one and color primary and mat tool to tip and here we try view and on click we are going to call a method okay so let's uh, call this method so handle view action this method we need to call whenever someone clicks on this particular button and we have to pass the element and inside this button we have to display a icon so mat icon and visibility visibility and after that the next button to download the bills and the other button will delete so just copy paste this line of the code and paste it over here to more times and but let's we have to create it over here let's create that first one just download download report action and here we write values any and after this the next uh, will be for uh let's see handle delete action values any and save this so first we are going to call the download this method so i've just pasted it over here and then we are going to call it for deleting the delete one so i'm going to paste it over here let me decrease the size of this one little bit and this one icon we have to display for summarize and here we write delete and here we also need to change the tooltip. So this will be for download three. And here we are going to display the tooltip as delete. Delete. And this should be capital. And after that, uh, out of this ng container. Okay, it's clicked on it. And here we have to write tr mat header. Draw and here we write star mat header header draw this one and in this we need to pass displayed column and a sticky a sticky we have to mark true and after that tr we have to again right here mat raw and here we have to write mat raw and here we have to write loot raw column columns and here we have to pass display column and just save this now if I go to the UI it needs to display all the bills here you can see that if I click on view, you can see a blank box is open right now. And you can see the BTEC day's name, email address, you can see, you can see the contact number, you can see the payment method. And here you can see also the total amount which we have paid. So now it's time to display the work on view. Then one by one, we are going to work on other buttons. So we'll just start with that. Let's go to the VS code. And now we have to go to the dialogues. And inside dialog, we have to go to the view bills. And inside this one, we have to go to the View is TS file. And here we have to write display display columns. And we have to write a string equals and here we have to write like this. 
name and category category next one will be price quantity and after that total and data source and any and data any and we are getting the value by injecting whenever we pass that value we are going to get it in that way we are getting it so here we have to write inject mat or uh, dial un mat underscore dialog data and public dialog data any and public dialog reference mat dialog reference and view bills product this way. after that in on it start data this dot data is equals to this dot uh, dialog data dot data and this dot uh, data source is equals to JSON JSON dot this dot dialog data dot data dot product details detail we need to print uh, the anything let me if you want to print the cons this dot data so you will get all those let me show you console dot log and if I put semi column if I go over here go to inspect and so if I click on console if I click on view you can see we are able to cause that so now let's write the code to view uh, or display the product so let's get back to the VS code and now we have to go to the HTML part of this page and here we have to write mat tool bar and here we have to mark the color primary and inside this mat toolbar raw and here we have to write perfect layout and here we have to write raw and inside this we have to write span and view bill and after that we have to put a space or span class spacer this one and here we have to write button and class mat dialog close and here we have to write mat icon button mat dialog close Take this we have to display the mat icon so mat icon cancel now save this if I go to the VS code no, sorry in the browser if I click on view now you can see view will if I click on close it is working fine now now after that we have to write mat dialog content we need to display the content of this page so for that of that mat typo graphy and um, inside this we need to create a table the table is used to display the customer details and um, so for that purpose we are writing here so id equals to customers um, and here we write tr inside this td and um, we have to make it as bold so name and put the space double quotes double brackets and data dot name let's copy paste this line of the code again over here and this will be to display the email so email and here we also need to write email and this same tr we need to copy and we need to paste it over here and here we are going to change this to contact number contact number and here we need to write contact number and the next thing will be payment method and payment method should be till and save this 
if I see now, so it will display all the details related to bill. You can see over here name, email address, contact number, and payment method. Now we have to display all the products. So for that purpose, first so we are able to create a div, div class, and here we write responsive table. And inside this, we have to write first break the line and table match table and data source and data source and class at version generate and here we have to write ng container and once at this we have to write mat column mat column if this one and then we have to close this one sorry here we have to write for uh, this equals to name and then we have to write th and here we have to write mat header so start mat header cell function write name let me scroll a little bit of this one and here we have to write ed mat cell star mat cell addition this one let element and here we have to write element dot that we have to just copy paste over here and after that name we have to display the perfect so we can just category over here category C so should be capital and then we have in and the next will be for price the price and here we write price price this is the window this is the key and the next will be for quantity quantity and here we also need quantity we should be capital after quantity, the next field will be for total the amount for that particular product. So total, and here we write total. Then after total, we need to display the columns so after the, after the table. Here we have to write tr, and here we write mat header row star mat header raw view and here we have to write displayed columns and the sticky and here we have to write true after tr the next will be also tr and here we have to write mat raw start mat raw diff and let raw and column this date column and just do this so our view bill uh, complete and dialog is completed so let's view it and it's giving us throwing us error okay let's test it out what the we did wrong so here we have uh, uh, actually we write outside this table that's the reason it's giving us error so just pop cut from here and paste it inside of this table tag and if i go over here if i click on view you can see error has been removed and you can also see the product details you can see the price you can see the point screen you can see the total amount for that particular product and you can see everything over here so now we have to write the code for these two buttons let's go to the vs code over here and now we have to go to the view bills let's go to the view bill the over here and now here we have to write the code so const and dialog config and here we have to write new 
match dialog config this one and dialog config dot data equals to and message message delete let put space over here plus values dot name and then plus and here we write space bill comma and confirmation mission and we write true put semicolon at over here and now cons dialog reference this dot dialog dot open and confirmation mission component and dialog config this one and here we have write const sub dialog reference dot component instance and whenever on emit we need to a status change you can see we have to subscribe and we have to get the response and on response we have to this dot ngx services we have to start and and then we have to call a method let me connect the method you know so delete bell this method and this method we are going to call in this we are going to pass the id so delete bill and we have to write values dot id and dialog reference dot close and in this we are expecting id so id uni and we have to call the api to delete this one so let's write the code for that so this is all build services dot delete and here we have to write id dot subscribe and response and here we have to write this dot ngx services dot stop and this dot table this dot table data we also need to call so table data we need to call and this dot response message is equals to response question mark dot message and this dot snack bar services dot open snack bar and whatever the response message we are going to get we are going to display it and success and after that comma and error any we give we need to display it over here so in the table we have created a table method over here from the copy the paste copy paste this line of the code and paste it over here paste it over here and save this okay and after that if i go to the ui this over here if i click on this one you can see are you sure you want to delete the we take this bill no will not do anything if i want to click on yes you can see build later successfully and item has been removed from over here let's go to the vs code and work on downloading report or downloading the bill okay so first we have to write him one more method we have to create down load file and file name is victim and a string data any inside this one we have to write this dot ngx services dot start and here we have to write where data and inside this one we have to write name uh, value start name email values dot email uuid values dot uuid and contact contact number values dot contact number and give a right payment method and give a right value dot payment method and total amount and the value values dot 
total dot to string form form we need to send and product product details battery values dot product details detail we need to pass and we have to pass this to this dot download download file and we have to file value dot uuid and data we need to pass and inside this one we have to write this dot build services and dot get pdf and data dot subscribe and inside this we get response response save else we have been putting the save as from file save and response file name and the extension we need to pass that should be pdf and this dot mdx services services dot stop let's save this let's go over here let me click on download bill you can see a bill has been downloaded over here if i extend this or open this you can see we are able to see all the details okay so it means that everything is working fine as expected related to view wills i hope you guys like this video so please hit like and subscribe my channel thank you